whatever problem we have, maybe it's a marital problem, maybe it's a problem with one of our children, maybe it's work, bring some dhikr to that. Sprinkle some dhikr to that. If, you're, if we're having marital problems, let's get together as a marriage and let's do dhikr together, me and my wife, me and my husband. And if we're thinking right now, oh, that's really going to help. Satan is real. Satan is whispering right now. Dhikr is real. Dhikr is powerful. Whether we comprehend the benefits, whether we see them, they're metaphysical. We don't understand them. But these are divinely promised. Astaghfirullah brings rizq. Brings, brings rizq. Brings providence. Providential care. La ilaha illallah removes rust from the heart. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam salawat on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam relieve you from your, your problems and removes you from darkness to light. And if we're thinking, oh yeah, really, how is that happening? Remember, we don't just believe what we, we don't just believe what we see we see what we believe. We're believers, we're different. We're Muslim, we're different. The first description of believers in the Quran, يُؤْمِنُونَ بالغيب. They believe in the unseen realm. And so if we have been fed for these many years and decades, in 2021, if we have been fed the, 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 the illusion that dhikr is not something that can help me, that is powerful. It's not just like I'm getting points. I'm getting points in my book to get on the Day of Judgment. Dhikr is more than that. When you mention Allah, Allah mentions you. And so we ask ourselves today, how am I doing enough dhikr? Am I doing enough dhikr? And so we're going to do that in two ways. Number one, we are going to break these ideas, these notions that may have been planted in our minds. That dhikr is this lofty, mysterious thing that's in some other realm. We're going to break that notion and we're going to accept it as a tangible tool. We're going to accept it intellectually as a tangible tool. Like God said with the two ingredients, فَثْبُتُوا وَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا And then you'll find success. The only thing, the only thing in the entire Qur'an that Allah says to do a lot of is dhikr. Is dhikr. The only thing. And so we ask ourselves, Am I doing enough dhikr? Did I teach my kids to value dhikr? And it's, it's easy, it's not difficult. All you have to do on Friday, sit for five minutes, 10 minutes before sunset with your kids, with your children, and do some salawat together. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam. And then after five minutes, just make dua. Do it 20 times, 100 times, 1,000 times. Just don't be heavy on your family. Don't be heavy on your spouse. Don't be heavy on your children. You can do it more than them. But when they grow up and become 815 and your influence decreases on your children, when they become 18 or 20 and 21 and they leave the house, they will remember, my father was a man of dhikr. Every Friday in my life, my father did dhikr. And every morning when we wake up, what dhikr are we doing? Find a qualified teacher and ask them, what dhikr can I do every morning? For your own sake. You're not, get, you're, not, you're not helping God through dhikr. You're helping yourselves. You're helping your children. You're helping your grandchildren. Because the barakah flows. This is real. And so this is an invitation for us today. To bring, make our house a house of dhikr. Our marriage a marriage of dhikr. Our home a home of dhikr. And my my body, a body of dhikr. And if we're too busy, uh, the, the, the dhikr beads 
The dhikr beads are a tool to remind the tongue and the tongue is a tool to remind the heart. And even if we don't, Satan's going to come, the devil's going to come whisper and he's going to say, what's the point of this? You're not feeling anything. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha. What, what's the point of this? You're not feeling anything. You're not doing anything. What's the point of this? That's Satan taking you away from doing good. And perhaps if you continue doing it, dhikr, Allah will elevate you from a state of doing dhikr without feeling to a st state of dhikr with feeling. Don't give up on it. Start with the minimum every morning of some astaghfirullah, of some la ilaha illallah, of some salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa And find a qualified teacher and incorporate this in our lives.